Thank you. Uh, please welcome Tracy McDonald. Mercury is the most toxic, non-radioactive element out there, and currently there are no effective treatments for mercury poisoning. Mercury exposure is highly variable, and people around the world are exposed to different types in varying amounts. So for example, the fish we eat often contain some amounts of organic mercury. In contrast, when we burn coal or other fossil fuels, we release inorganic mercury into the air we breathe. And in places like South America, due to their poverty, they often use a simple technique where they heat gold and mercury together to purify gold. While this is inexpensive and simple, due to the poverty, children are often forced to do this work. And we know that children, infants, and the developing fetus are most susceptible to the toxic effects of mercury. And these effects can last throughout their entire life. So when people are exposed to mercury, they often suffer a variety of issues, including problems with their vision, sense of smell, hearing, and balance. So my research has focused on inorganic mercury because the ways that it can affect the developing stages are poorly understood right now. So I've used sophisticated imaging techniques at the synchrotron to map out exactly where mercury accumulates in young zebrafish. Why am I using zebrafish? Because the way they grow is very similar to the way that humans grow. So we can look at a particular developmental stage in a zebrafish and better understand how a child at that same developmental stage might be affected by mercury. So in my research, I've actually found that mercury accumulates directly in the cells of the eyes, nose, and inner ear. And not only that, I've been able to demonstrate that many of these cells no longer function properly after a mercury exposure. So this may partly explain why people have problems with their vision, smell, hearing, and balance. Moving forward, I think the obvious question is how can we help these people that have been exposed to mercury? So our lab is looking at two possible options right now. Firstly, we're looking at how minerals that are naturally found in the foods you eat, like selenium, can bind to mercury and block its toxic effects. We're also designing a special drug that could bind to various types of mercury, and then it would remove it from the body, thus protecting people, especially children, from the toxic effects of all forms of mercury. Thank you.